For art one, this is your collage demonstration. You'll need a paintbrush, preferably one that's more messed up. So you guys do have your yellow handled paintbrush that has the dark bristles on it. I would use that for your glue, okay? Okay, so this is Mod Podge. It's not Elmer's glue. This is a special kind of glue that's really good for using for collage, okay? The reason it's in this big tub is so that way you can pour a small amount that you need and it's easier to brush onto your work. So let's just say real quick, I'm just gonna do smiley face. Okay. Woohoo, smiley face. All right, and for this smiley face, I'm going to cut out some of this pattern green stuff, okay? So if I'm wanting to cut around this R, I can cut through the side here around and instead of trying to make that turn I can just cut through the side again and then turn into that corner so a lot of people try to cut something out all in one go um, and it doesn't usually work that way so usually making several cuts and turning something as you're trying to cut through it is better. So instead of me trying to turn and make that sharp cut, um, I can always cut through a different section, turn my paper, and then cut through here. So just cut through one side and go around to cut through the other, okay? Yeah, yeah, exactly, cut corners, there you go. I'm teaching you how to cut corners, I like that, um, literally. So I've already drawn this picture, and what I'm gonna try to do is make it fit inside of the face. And I'm not going to worry too much about making the exact circle match, but I'm just going to cut some smaller pieces that will fit inside of here. So I can take a look when I lay this down on top of my image and say, okay, I'm going to line it up between the mouth and the outside of the face. So I'm going to draw a line right here. And that I know now matches with the rest of my image. So I'm going to cut along my line. use my brush with just a little bit of glue and when you guys are using the glue please make sure to just touch the bristles to the glue you don't have to dip the entire thing in glue that's going to ruin your brush okay um, you're also going to have a cup of water here for whenever you're done using it so the glue doesn't dry in the brush in between when you're cutting things okay uh, so this is the piece that i cut and i'm painting the glue on the back of the paper i'm not putting glue on my drawing because that might get extra glue where I don't want it, okay? So I'm just going to paint the back of my piece of paper with the glue. And I want to make sure that I cover all of the edges so that way none of it peels up. right in that spot where I had laid it out and cut it. Now you can see that it's right inside of that shape. So I'm gonna get the exact image duplicated in just collage, okay? So I can do this with my other pieces too. Put the piece down, draw out, connecting the lines in your drawing with where you've put your paper. Okay. Um, the other nice thing about Mod Podge is that when you place your pieces down, you can do a coat of glue on the top of it as well to kind of seal it in, make sure all of the edges are covered up. You can paint over your pencil lines, you can paint over the background, um, not using too much glue, but you can do that and it will dry clear and it will dry kind of shiny. So when you're done with your entire collage, if you seal it all in Mod Podge, it's going to be one solid layer that'll look very nice and finished. Okay. Um, Lining it up with the box here. And then noticing where my pencil drawing is on the bottom on either side, I can just trace my drawing to match it. Now that I've got that line drawn, I can just simply cut it out with my scissors. And if I look 
I can should be able to kind of see where my curve was that I just cut and if I put it in the spot just to make sure that I've cut it the way I want it to um, maybe the bottom of the mouth here is a little bit covered up so I can uh, put that back where I want it to go take my pencil trace that little edge right there for the bottom of the mouth um, when you're cutting really small pieces like that it's easier to just use the very tip of the scissors instead of trying to like go all the way through here because you're more likely to cut through the entire piece so towards the end of the scissors with small little cuts as you turn the paper is going to help get a more accurate curve than if you try to do the whole curve at once exactly where I want it to go.